Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to part six of my Minecraft mod how-to guide for the mod called Mariculture, which adds all kinds of neat stuff to the waters of Minecraft. Uh, and in the last episode, I went over the stuff that is involved with fishing, uh, but in this episode, I'm going to actually be covering the stuff involved with the fish themselves. But there are a few things that I wanted to go over. First off, uh, I did manage to discover that by using hoppers, you can sort of streamline the fish breeding uh, process a little bit better. Uh, the, the incubators and the fish feeders don't automatically output to adjacent inventories but with hoppers uh, you can uh, make things a little bit easier the hopper underneath the incubator will automatically pull out the uh, inventory from the output and deposit it into the chest and you can see that I have uh, tested that with all the different breeds of fish uh, and also the output from the fish f feeder or is it yeah the fish feeder uh, it doesn't necessarily output directly to a hopper. I I had it hiccup and do it off and on, but it didn't always pull from the output slots. Sometimes the stuff just stayed there. So what I did instead uh, was taking advantage of the fact that the, the fish feeders, when those spots are filled up, will just eject into the water. I have filled the base of the... Uh, fish tank with hoppers that all feed into chests underneath and it will uh, work with the output very effectively that way and I'm sure I could probably do it with uh, for instance uh, build craft pipes or uh, an AE interface or something like that applied energetics but uh, basically I wanted to limit it to what's in vanilla Minecraft as well as what's in uh, the Mariculture mod. But, while you are doing the breeding of the fish, you are going to encounter a few different things of output. Uh, uh, they will give you some special uh, product while they are breeding uh, that is like glowstone or leather or rotten flesh or fit or spider eyes but also they will give you these things called droplets and there are nine of them five of which can uh be used in some pretty important recipes actually six of them uh the first one is uh i went over in a in the uh enchanting and magic episode uh, is used to make the enchant or the uh celestial mirror uh, and that's the magic droplet. But the other droplets that I have here uh, are the uh, water droplet, which if you cook it in an industrial smelter, you will get one bucket of water. The aquatic droplet will give you one-tenth of a bucket of water. And these only need to be heated up to one degree Celsius, so you can do it pretty much right off the bat. But the... Uh, the drop that you get from the three nether fish, this one, the nether droplet, if you put it in the indu or the in yeah, industrial smelter, it requires 1,000 degrees. And you can see I have this heated up to 2,000 because I've had the cold coat going. Uh, but when you uh, toss one of those into uh, the industrial smelter, you will get 1 20th of a bucket of lava. Uh, so you're, you're going to need 20 of those droplets to make a bucket. Uh, so it's kind of low yield on that. But once you get the net fish going, uh, you can pretty much get a steady supply of those droplets. But anyway, the next one I wanted to cover here real quick is the ender droplet. And if you take nine of them, you can get an ender pearl. So you can sort of use the fish to produce ender pearls. Uh, also... The Destruction Droplet. If you take two of those with two sand, you can get some TNT, just one block a piece. But now, I'm going to go on to what is uh, involved with and related to the individual fish, starting with the fish that you catch in the wild. 
the first fish that I wanted to cover, uh, you can catch in uh, a few different biomes, uh, is called the minnow. And uh, aside from being used as one of the bait, primarily for the titanium fishing rod, uh, you can also uh, breed it with other fish or with itself. And its lifespan while you are breeding it is 300. Now, uh, when doing the breeding, that 300, it doesn't mean one uh, unit of health per tick or per cycle. It's either going to be 7 uh, hit points or 10 hit points uh, per cycle. And the cycle isn't... Uh, I, I haven't measured it exactly. I think it's about maybe 15 or 20 seconds, something like that. Uh, it might be longer, but... Uh, when you breed it, it, it goes down in increments of either 7 or 10, and I suppose I could have added that data point, but that uh, isn't really all that necessary to know. Uh, basically, once you put them in, they will eventually run out of life, and when they die, they are done. Uh, but the minnow lasts for 300 hit points, which is not, uh, like I said, directly related to ticks or anything like that. But uh, there are a few different things that you can get from pretty much any of the fish. One will be f the fish meal, and if you craft the raw minnow by hand, you can get one fish meal. Also, when you take a raw minnow and toss it into an industrial smelter, uh, you will get 75 millibuckets of fish oil and a 10% chance for getting a bone as an additional output, and I need to make it morning here again. Uh, but the minnow can work just comfortably in uh, the uh, normal temperature uh, biomes. Also, they like the cold, and they prefer the fresh water areas. Now, the minnow will produce the water droplets, but they don't produce any additional output while they are breeding other than the... Uh, the eggs and the raw fish once they are done. Uh, so uh, it isn't going to be useful for much other than, well, fish bait. But let's move on to the next one. We've got cod with 1,500 health points. Uh, the cod can be crafted into four fish meal and can be smelted into uh, two and a half buckets of fish oil with an 11% chance of getting leather out of it. Uh, which is uh, a pretty good source for leather if you uh, don't want to do a a, uh, a manual cow farm. Uh, but additionally, the cod are used in crafting fish fingers. You take one raw cod and four bread, and you can get 32 of those, which each one of those will heal you one uh, hunger bar worth of uh, food. The cod, like salty and freshwater environments and they also like cold uh i believe it also does work just in the normal temperature uh so you don't need to worry about uh really changing the temperature unless it's in like a desert or something uh but you can also get water droplets out of that uh next up we've got the neon tetra with 420 health points <coughs> excuse me sorry about that uh, which can be tra crafted into one fish meal and smelted into uh, 95 mil buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance for getting bone. Uh, they do produce water droplets and they require warmth and fresh water to uh, do their breeding. Uh, but also importantly, out of the neon tetras, you can expect to get these neon lamps, which are crafted by using a neon tetra, uh, four of the transparent plastic, which I went over in a previous uh, episode, redstone, glowstone, and any two of the same color, pearl, and that will get you that color of neon lamp. And so there are 12 pearls, therefore 12 neon lamps. Next up, we have the damselfish at 1,020 health points. If you eat a raw one, you can get some regeneration going. It doesn't last long, uh, but it is regeneration. Uh, when you craft them by hand, you can get one uh, of the fish meal. 
And when you smelt them, you get 450 mil buckets or just under half a bucket of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. Uh, they do produce water droplets like most of the other ones I've gone over. Uh, and they prefer the salty or freshwater environments, but it doesn't seem to matter about the temperature, warm or cold. Uh, so that is the damselfish. All right, next up, after a weird little lag there, uh, we've got the Stingray with 2220 hit points. Uh, can be crafted into two fish meal, and when you cook it, you'll get uh, 170 mil buckets of fish oil with a 10% chance of bones. Uh, it likes fresh or salt water, and it does like the cool temperature, but it can also work in normal. Uh, when you do the breeding, you will be able to get poison droplets and spider eyes out of it. And uh, also, it has a slightly higher chance of giving more than one uh, set of offspring out of uh, running the eggs to the incubator. So you can get a positive return on that. Next up, we've got the squid with 1,200 hit points. Now, you can see down here, you get no fish oil from it. You can't uh, toss it into the... Uh, induction smelter, or not induction, industrial smelter. That induction smelter is a different thing. Uh, so uh, you will get no fish oil and nothing out of that. And also you can't get any uh, fish meal out of it. But if you craft it with a bowl, you can get three calamari, which is good for eating. Uh, it does like the salt water. And when you breed it, you'll be able to get water droplets and ink sacs out of it. Uh, with pretty low chance of getting output from the eggs uh, next up however we will be starting off with the beginning of the actual crossbred now uh, many of these fish can be caught in the wild however it's exceptionally rare so uh, it, it's not a guarantee to get them so you're probably going to have to crossbreed most of the rest of these fish uh, all the way all the ones up to the squid you can pretty regularly catch out in the wild, though. Uh, but let's go on with this. After another weird lag, hold on. No, it says 30-something percent. All right. Uh, but anyway, the goldfish, short, short lives, 180 hit points or health points. Uh, you get them by breeding minnow with cod. Uh, and you can get two fish meal out of them, and when you cook them, you will get uh, 1,125 mil buckets. So just uh, at, not over, but at uh, one and one eighth uh, buckets of water. So uh, out of every eight of them, you will get nine buckets of, or not water, but fish oil. I cannot think today. But also, the goldfish will give you, instead of bones or leather, you'll get a chance for gold nuggets. But you can see it's a really low chance. And my experience with it is, is that it was even lower than 4%, but maybe I just didn't have a large enough sample. But anyway, the goldfish, two fish meal there, uh, they work in pretty much any environment. It doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, you can get water droplets out of them, but nothing else really spectacular from them. Next up, we've got salmon, which will require uh, having gotten the goldfish bread, uh, and you will also need some minnow for that. The salmon have 1,500 hit points or health points, whatever, and you can get five fish meal out of them. Also, tossing them in the smelter, you will get uh, just under a bucket, 900 mil buckets of fish oil, but a 20% chance for leather, so higher chance of leather there and it is approaching nighttime so let's make it daytime uh they like fresh water they like cool water and they will produce water droplets uh they also work in just normal uh, environment for for the water temperature now there is supposed to be a recipe for making the smoked salmon well not really a recipe per se a procedure but that has been disabled as of uh, this mod pack, which is the uh, monster mod pack and Feed the Beast, I'm uh, on version 0.9 right now because that's what the recommended is. I don't want to work with the uh, unrecommended ones because even the recommended one, this one here, 
has some amazing memory leaks and if the recommended has the memory leaks and other bugs then i can't imagine that the not recommended ones uh are much better but uh the uh mod pack that i am using for this series is the uh 0.9 version of mariculture uh, so keep that in mind. Things are going to change and have changed since, and I will be covering them in the future, but that's, that's for later episodes, uh, f of this guide if I uh, do get around to those. Moving on to the bass. 1,500 hit points or health points. They can make three fish meal a piece, and they will produce 450 mil buckets, so just under half a bucket of fish oil. Uh, with a 10% chance of bone there. And they like fresh water, and they work in the cold. Uh, let's see here. And in normal temperature. And output from them will include these destruction droplets, which were used for crafting TNT, as well as gunpowder. So you can get all kinds of gunpowder. And as you might be able to predict, uh, since they deal with the gunpowder and all that, uh, it says throw like a grenade here. And what I mean by that is you can chuck them and they go boom. However, they do not break the sturdy blocks like stone and whatnot. It breaks dirt and sand and, and other soft blocks. Bass, there we are. But... Uh, you don't have to worry about blowing up stone structures with these. Moving on. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the bass is uh, bred by using salmon and minnow. Anyway, moving on to the Siamese fighting fish with 3,000 health points. And that is bred by using goldfish and stingray. Uh, you can get two fish meal out of them as well as one and a half buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. Uh, the environments that they like are any type of water, cold temperatures, or just regular temperature. And you can get some more of those destruction drops out of it. Now, something interesting uh, with these, the fighting fish, is while they are in the fish feeder, any mobs, other than you, obviously you're not a mob, uh, that end up in the water take damage. And so you can sort of use them to, I guess, automate getting uh, mob loot if you want to have some sort of setup with these uh, fighting fish. You can have a, a mob grinder where, uh, though you won't get experience, you can get uh, some loot out of them let's take these out of here so it's not doing anything put this back uh the fighting fish i believe I, I don't remember if i went over this uh two fish meal a piece for crafting and yeah i, I guess i did go over it. one and a half buckets of fish oil and 10 percent chance of bone i don't think i went over that anyway i'm confused i'm getting ahead or behind myself whatever uh, one other thing to note about these is they have a really, not only a really long lifespan of 3,000 hit points, but also in the incubator, the eggs take a very, very, very long time to process. And you can get more than just a male and female out of it, but it takes a very long time. But the next fish takes an even longer time. This one took forever, and it's the reason why it's taken me so long to get this episode uh, recorded, is I wanted this to finish. And this fish is called the Koi. Uh, 9,000 health points, which even make the process longer. Uh, you get them by breeding the Siamese fighting fish with goldfish. Now, if you have them going, you can stand in the water and get a regeneration, I believe, two. Yeah, regeneration two effect. So that's kind of nice. But you have to be in the water with them going in order to get that. Uh, now, the koi will give you five fish meal a piece, as well as two and a half buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. Uh, they like fresh or salt water. They like the cold and normal temperature. 
Uh, and they will give you these regeneration droplets, which are kind of nice. Next up, we have an interesting fish, the catfish. Now, uh, one thing I want to mention about this is it is not one of its functions is not working properly in this mod pack. It probably works just fine, just regular, but in this mod pack, it doesn't seem to work. And I'll get to that here in just a second. But first, the catfish is 2220 health points. Uh, you get it by breeding the Siamese fighting fish with the neon tetra. Uh, you can get four fish meal out of crafting them and a solid bucket of fish oil as well as a 10% chance of bone. Uh, they like the heat. They like fresh water. Now, I have a creeper egg here, and this is what I was talking about. It says catfish, and if you know your Minecraft, having a cat will keep creepers from coming into the area. However... Uh, though it is supposed to function where if you have a creeper uh, nearby, and I'm going to put this, I don't need to put there, I need normal. It's supposed to work so that if there are creepers, let's craft, or let's uh, plop some down here real quick and put this guy back. And you have the fish in your inventory. Or maybe even in your hot bar or something. It is supposed to drive creepers away. But as you can see, they are just fine standing right next to you. And it works even, or it doesn't work rather, even in uh, uh, non-creative mode. But I don't want to stand in there in uh, regular uh, survival mode because whoops wrong options because I don't want to explode but it's supposed to drive them away just like having a cat would uh, but they have a really low output on the eggs so keep that in mind when you're working on them uh, the droplets that they're supposed to produce they're supposed to produce the water droplets. I had to look that up really quick. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have it in there. But anyway, uh, moving on to the next fish. We've got the piranha with 3,000 health points or hit points. And like I mentioned, they take a long time to incubate. Uh, but you can get three fish meal out of the piranha as well as uh, 1,750 mill buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone there. Uh, they like the fresh water. They like warm temperatures. And they don't work well in normal temperature. But the droplets they produce are the destruction droplets. But while you're breeding them, you can also get rotten flesh. Uh, and also, while they are breeding... Do I have some in there? No, I do not. Uh, let's load up some piranha real quick. I don't know why I didn't have these in there. I'm sort of not prepared. Sorry about that. Uh, just like the other fish, they cause damage with the cows and other mobs that go in there. Go away. There we go. But... Uh, you can get some uh, loot by having a piranha grinder as well as the Siamese fighting fish uh, set up over there. But that is the piranha. Next up are the... Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. The piranha are catfish and neon tetra. And I went over that, I believe. The catfish and neon tetra and the uh, Siamese fighting fish. I almost forgot. Uh, let's make that morning. Next up are the perch with 1,500 health points, and you get them by um, breeding the goldfish with the cod. You can get three fish meal out of them, as well as a single bucket of fish oil and a 20% chance of leather. Uh, they produce water droplets. They like fresh or salt water. They like the cold or just normal temperature, and uh, they they have just a regular average lifespan and output for the 
uh, incubator. Uh, not a whole lot of time, but you do have to wait for the 1500. Uh, next up, we've got Tuna with 1,320 hit, hit points or health points, whatever. Uh, they are bred by using perch and cod together. You can get six fish meal out of them, which is a whole bunch uh, compared to most of the rest, as well as a whole bunch of fish oil, four buckets of fish oil from one raw tuna, as well as a 10% chance of bone. Um they produce the aquatic droplets, which are not the water droplets. They like salty or fresh water. They like the cold, and they like normal temperature. Moving on to the angelfish with 2220 hit points. Uh, you use a damselfish and a squid to breed the angelfish, and they can give you two fish meal, as well as uh, 800 mil buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. They like the any kind of uh, salinity for the water. They like the warmth uh, or regular temperature. They will give you regeneration droplets. And also, one other aspect of them, if I have a bunch of loose items on the ground here, and you can see I don't have magnet mode on, uh, with the fish in your hot bar, if you right-click on it, it automatically slurps loose blocks to you. Uh, where was I? Angelfish here. So you can use it for vacuuming stuff around you without having to go down. It acts like a, a sort of magnet. Uh, so that's a uh, neat feature of these, and I don't need the raw beef in here. Uh, so it's a, it's a good fish to go for if you want it. Next, uh, and it's also a leaping block, or, or leaping point, whatever, uh, from making additional species of fish. But the next one is the manta ray with 2220 hit points. Uh, you use a stingray and an angel fish to get the manta ray, and you can get two fish meal out of it, as well as uh, a quarter bucket of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. Uh, they like any salinity of water. They like the cold, and they like normal uh, water temperature, and once again, regeneration droplets. Next up are the electric rays, and they are also 2220 hit points. You use the manta and the stingray to get them, and while they are breeding, lightning strikes everywhere, so don't have them anywhere near where stuff you don't want to catch on fire is, uh, because it's a very constant lightning strikes. Uh, I, I calculated it at about one strike every two seconds. And they last a little while in there, so it's a little bit of a mess. Have these elsewhere if you don't want things to catch fire. But anyway, uh, they produce three fish meal, as well as... Uh, 450 mil buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. Uh, they like the salt or fresh water. They like the cold uh, and normal temperature. And they produce these electric droplets. Also, the electric rays can be used in the place of titanium batteries for things that those are used for. Uh, so that's one other objective for actually trying to breed them. But like I said, watch out for that lightning. Next up are the puffer fish with 2220 hit points. They are bred by using angelfish and damselfish. Four fish meal apiece. Uh, three buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. They like any salinity of water and they seem to not care about... Uh, the temperature, they, they like normal temperature uh, for breeding, but they produce these poison droplets which are used in crafting uh, these impurity upgrades uh, as well as other as some other things that require droplets that you can use them, I do believe. But next up we've got the jellyfish at 1500 hit points. Uh, they are bred by using squid and tuna and you can see that they do not make any uh, fish meal or fish oil, so you can't use those for that. Uh, they do produce slime balls as well as the poison droplets. They like the salt water. They like the cold. Uh, they don't 
uh, mind the normal temperature either. But like I said, the uh, fish meal and fish oil can't get anything out of them. Uh, same thing with the Man of War. It is f er, 1,800 hit points. Uses the squid and the jellyfish. No fish oil, no fish meal. Uh, they like the cold. They produce the destruction droplets. Uh, and they like normal temperature. Uh, now, we move on to the uh, three regular world uh, intermediate fish tank fish. The butterfly fish is the first one. 2220 hit points. Angelfish and Neon Tetra to get those. As well as production of one fish meal apiece and 110 millibuckets. Strange number of fish oil and a 10% chance of bones. They like salt water. They produce the water droplets and they also produce feathers. Uh, and they like the normal temperature there. Uh, the angelfish I couldn't figure out if they do anything, uh, and the, uh, I guess the wiki, there's a little graph, it has a question mark next to the, the other, uh, category for the output or, or products or whatever, so I don't know if it does anything, it might, I haven't found anything out about it though. Next up is the blue tang, and there's 2220 hit points, butterfly fish and tuna to make those. They do produce one fish meal, uh, 300 mil buckets of fish oil, and a 10% chance of bone. They like salt water. They produce the aquatic drops once again, and these guys make lapis lazuli, and they also work in the normal temperature biomes. And last for this category, the overworld fish, we've got the clownfish, uh, which are made by using the blue tang and the butterfly fish. Uh, the clownfish have 20 to 20 hit points, one fish meal, uh, 195 mil buckets of fish oil and 10% chance of bone. But these guys are the only way to get the magic droplets, uh, for making the celestial mirror. Uh, also they produce, uh, different types of coral. I think they can produce all the, uh, different varieties of coral for this mod. Maybe just a couple. I only got... Uh, I, I stopped at one. I stopped the blue coral for that. But that is the overworld fish. Next up, let me uh, cut here and go over to the next section. All right. The next series of fish are the nest fish. And the nest fish require the intermediate fish tanks. I have the, uh, the advanced size just because... I, I wanted to use those to double check to make sure they can work in them. Uh, but the nest fish are caught in the nether, but you can't breed them or anything in lava. And since the water doesn't work in the nether, you have to breed them in the overworld. So go find yourself a desert and give them two ultimate heating upgrades as well as an ethereal upgrade. Uh, otherwise they won't work. Uh, so you're going to have to get th some ultimates in there before you can even work on breeding the nest fish. But once you do, the nest fish will produce one fish meal. They will produce 155 mil buckets of, uh, fish oil, as well as a 10% chance of bone. And... They can be used to cook 12, and it looks like a half, uh, items for one fish. So you can get 25 cooked items out of two fish, uh, two of the nest fish there. Uh, they absolutely require the ultimate heating upgrades and the ethereal upgrades. And this is in a desert, so, uh, you're going to have to find a hot area to get them to breed. Uh, and to live, for that matter. But they will produce the nether droplets, which are used uh, in making uh, in cooking the lava. Uh, next up, we have the glowfish, which are bred by using the nest fish and the electric ray. So you're going to have to have done that already. Uh, you can get one fish meal out of it, as well as 155 mil buckets of fish oil, with a 10% chance of bone. 
Likewise, they require two ultimate heating upgrades and an ethereal upgrade. They produce nether droplets and they also produce glowstone there. And finally for this leg, we've got the blaze fish which require nest fish and glow fish. And they will give you two fish meal apiece. Uh, 155 mil buckets of fish oil and a 10% chance of bone. And once again, two ultimate heating upgrades and an ethereal upgrade. They will give you the nether droplets as well as blaze powder. So that are, uh, that is, that are, those are, and that is the, uh, the set of the nether fish. Now I'm going to cut here and go over to the last three fish related to the end. All right, and to finish off this video, we've got the last three fish here. Uh, the first of which are caught in the end itself, and they're called night fish, and they have a 1500 hit point life. Uh, if you eat them at night time, you get a strength bonus, but only at night time. Uh, they will give you one fish meal and 155 mil buckets of fish oil with a 10% chance of bone. They only, at, at least as of this version, uh, will only be able to work in the end. Uh, so you can't get them to function in the overworld. I tried every combination of upgrade. I couldn't get them to work, so I had to just make some tanks here in the end. Uh, but when you get them, they need the uh, fresh water and they produce the ender droplets. Uh... Let's see here. And they have a pretty low yield of offspring there. Next up, we have the ender fish, which are uh, bred by using night fish with jellyfish. They have 3,000 hit points. Uh, now, I was not able to actually breed this fish because the jellyfish require salt water, but the night fish won't work with salt water. Any, any amount of salt water. So I could not get this particular breed to, to uh, work, but I, as I understand it in f uh, updates after this one, uh, they have fixed that problem. So you are supposed to be able to get it uh, uh, from breeding. It, I just couldn't confirm that with this. But when you do get them, they will give you one fish meal and... 155 mil buckets of fish oil along with a 10% chance of bone. Uh, they like fresh water. They give you ender droplets and they produce ender pearls while they are breeding. And then to wrap things up, we have the dragonfish with 18,000. That is not a typo. That is 18,000 hit points. They live a really, really long time. Uh, and, and they are highly fertile as well. Uh, they are bred by using the ender fish with the night fish. You can get six fish meal out of them, as well as five buckets of fish oil with a 10% chance of bones. They will give you uh, the ender droplets and they can give you dragon eggs. It's really rare, uh, but they like fresh water and uh, they uh, only are able to function in the end uh, just like the other two in this and you can see i have no output there because these eggs are still going i have to assume that they are proportionate the egg lifespan is proportionate to the 18,000 lifespan of the dragonfish themselves it is horrible uh, but i instead of just waiting for that to finish i wanted to go ahead and get this recorded but those are all 30 of the fish and everything that I uh, remember to include in this guide. Uh, I will be working on uh, future information when I get my hands on stable versions of, of uh, later monster mod packs or if I can find another mod pack that has a more recent version of this on Feed the Beast. I don't like installing just single mods. Uh, so I wait for it to uh, update with the mod packs. Uh, but that is all the information for the fish breeding. And that concludes the actual series of this guide. 
that I have put together. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or if you want to message me directly, you can reach me at Thorn of Night on Twitter. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out, including any updated information down the road for this mod. Uh, also, if you have any ideas for mods that you would like to see me uh, do a guide for, please let me know. I'll see if I can tackle it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. So thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.